The first place you'll want to go is to alabamavotes.gov. Uh, take a look at the website there. You'll be able to research all of the ballot measures that are coming up. Also, uh, be sure to, to check your registration information if you've gotten married or if your address has changed in the, in the past few years. Uh, make sure you're registered to vote. Also, make sure you understand what type of voter IDs you need at the polls and verify the polling places make sure you show up at the right place because some of the places have moved and some of the polls have closed uh, due to budget cuts so make sure you take a look at alabamavotes.gov and and check out your registration information and your polling place uh, for now let's go ahead and take a look at the sample ballots if you'll click there you'll be uh, given a choice of the county each county ballot will be a little bit different so go through and pick the county to where you'll be voting and uh, once you click there um, your ballot, ballot will come up. Now I'm using the Marshall County ballot at, um, but yours will vary slightly so let's take a look at those one by one. Okay for the first amendment I'm gonna go ahead and say no it has to do with the Auburn University Board of Trustees and the uh, terms when they expire and they're saying they want to add two additional board members to help enhance the diversity on the board. Um, I think you can enhance the diversity without expanding the board. You already have a large board. There's no need to add more uh, people at this time. So I'm going to go ahead and vote no. Um, the second amendment has to do with the use of state park funds. And I'm voting no because this would allow the state park funds, uh, some of those, to get diverted to the general fund. Um, another clause that's tagged on in the end there is uh, it would basically allow privatization. They would be using public lands for personal and corporate profit. So I'm going to have to vote no there on Amendment 2. For Amendment 3, if we take a look at that one, um, there's a local constitutional amendment commission. Um, this would abolish that and although I think the commission's somewhat flawed it's the governor lieutenant governor speaker of the house and attorney general and secretary of state um, although I don't really trust a lot of the people in those positions right now I don't think that that the commission should be abolished um, and this would give also the final decision on whether um, amendments would be voted on locally or statewide it would give the final decision to the legislature and I definitely don't trust those. I think any proposed constitu constitutional amendments should be taken um, uh, before the people and give them a chance to read and vote on them. So for that one I'm going to vote no again. For amendment number four, uh, this would give counties the same authority that's already granted through the Alabama Lim Limited Self-Governance Act. <clears throat> the problem I have with it is uh, the clause where it says without the need for seeking approval from a majority of voters in those affected areas. I think the um, the people who are in those affected areas should definitely have a say and I think they should have to get the approval from the majority of the voter of the voters in those areas so I'm gonna have to vote no for that one as well. Amendment number five deals with the separation of powers between the branches of state government and I'm going to definitely vote no. This is a dangerous thing to mess with. Um, yes, I agree the Constitution contains outdated language, but I don't really trust the people that's on the Judiciary Committee right now, um, even the sponsor of this bill. I just don't trust those guys to um, make the decisions. There's three members that I, I really worry about that's on the Judiciary Committee, and there's no way I would trust them to modernize the language. They would warp things to their advantage. So. Um, at this point, I'm going to have to say no, although it sounds like a great idea. This is really a bad idea with our current uh, leadership, so no. On Amendment 6, I'm going to have to say no because it would add the entire State Board of Education, yet it would remo remove the Superintendent of Education um, from impeachment, and also it would modify the process uh, for current impeachment for a lot of important offices, uh, Governor, Lieutenant Governor, Attorney General, State Auditor, Secretary of State, State Treasurer, State Superintendent of Education, State Board of Education, Commissioner of Agriculture, and the members of the Alabama Supreme Court. So for those reasons, I have to say no on Amendment 6. Amendment number 7 pertains to the Etowah County Sheriff's Department. Um, under this, all of the employees except for the Chief Deputy, the Chief of Detention, Chief of Administrative, uh, the 
chief of admin, chief of investigation, director of communications, and food service manager. Everyone would fall under the authority of the personnel board of the office um, of sheriff. Um, I don't think there should be any exceptions. All of the employees should fall under that board, so I would have to say no. Um, they, it's either all or nothing. There shouldn't be any exceptions there. So no on amendment number seven. Amendment number eight, I have to say no on. Uh, this would place the identical right to work provisions from the Code of Alabama into the state constitution. I don't I like or trust a lot of the right to work provisions that are in the state. A lot of those are really a, a right to fire employees and they allow a lot of businesses and companies to come in and take advantage of employees. So what I would really like to see is a reworking of the existing right to work provisions and this would either add it um, um, you, you know, we, I think we either have to have it in both the Code of Alabama and the, and, and the state constitution or in neither of those. Personally, I think we probably need to, to remove them from both, so I'm going to vote no on um, Amendment Number 8. For Amendment Number 9, this is about the Pickens County Judge. Now, I'm against any form of age uh, discrimination, so I would normally vote, um, you know, for lifting this. Um, in an Amendment 13, which we'll go over in a minute, uh, I will actually vote yes on that one. Um, in this case, I'm going to say no, not because I just uh, I, I think that there should be an age limit. I just think this is um, picking a particular judge out of a particular county, and I think the uh, the age uh, law should be statewide for all the offices. So I'm going to vote no on this one again, not because I believe in age discrimination. I just think this is favoritism. So uh, definitely a no on this one. Amendment 10 says any city or town that is completely outside the county boundaries of Calhoun County cannot exercise any police or planning jurisdiction inside Calhoun County. Now, although I do agree police jurisdiction has to have distinct boundaries, I think the planning jurisdiction needs to have the input from the entire community and surrounding area. So I'm going to vote no on that amendment as well. For number 11, I'm going to vote no. This would give the city or county the sole discretion to determine the sale price of property. Um, I don't believe they should have the sole discretion to determine um, the sale price of property, so that's going to be a, a no vote there. On number 12, I'm going to vote no. Uh, no toll road. I think we've got plenty of tax money, especially with the BP settlement money and everything that's uh, being poured into the roads in those areas. I don't think there's a need for toll roads. Uh, there's definitely a need for infrastructure and those improvements, but uh, I want to see them use the existing tax money properly first before we start uh, adding more fees, especially on the, the consumer or the taxpayer or the average person. So no on this amendment. For Amendment 13, I referred to that one a few uh, minutes ago when I was going over Amendment number 9. Uh, this is the one amendment that I will vote yes on. I, I don't believe there should be an age limit. Uh, I, think that's, I think that's a form of age discrimination, so I will vote yes on this one. However, um, there is the exclusion for judges in this one. Uh, this really started out as a bill to help Roy Moore, and then um, that that bill was withdrawn. Um, now this new bill is uh, was introduced, as you saw, in the, for the Pickens County judge, but um, I don't believe that there should be a, a age limit for any of the offices, so uh, I would be uh, in favor of removing the age limit of all offices. So I will vote yes on this one, but I think we also need another amendment in the next election that will remove uh, the age limit entirely for all offices. And number 14, definitely not. This is a, a budget mess. Um, there were a lot of local laws that were passed um, between 1984 and 2016. And if we vote yes on this, it will basically grandfather all those in and give them a, a rubber stamp of approval. I'm going to say no on that because in 1984, an amendment uh, 448 was added to the state constitution. And the purpose of that amendment was to encourage the, legis the legislature to pass the budget bills before they uh, went about passing any of the other bills. Any exceptions required the legislature to pass a BIR, or Budget Isolation Resolution, on any bill that it considered before it passed the budget bills. A BR needed approval from 60% of the legislators present. 
but they got lazy on us and they did what they called local courtesies for each other and they would abstain from votes they would have struck their friends vote for exchange for other favors and what ended up happening was that a lot of these um, bills these budget isolation resolutions were passed um, but they were passed because uh, only they passed by 60 percent of those present and voting but not the approval of the of the 60 percent of the legislatures present so technically none of those were ever legal so what they're wanting now with this amendment is a rubber stamp to go back and, and, and sort of to, to start over and I don't I think that's a mistake first we need to go back and look at the house rules that allow this to happen in the first place and to do that we'll probably have to change the leadership of the house which brings us to all the other important offices and why it's so important to know what each of these amendments mean because it will affect you and a lot of these may sound good on the surface but when you start doing the research and looking behind what the impact would be they're actually bad ideas so I, I guess in summary I'm gonna have to vote no on all 14 amendments with the exception of number 13 and I sort of went over the caveat of, of why I felt that way on number 13 so again I'm gonna say no on all but 13 thanks